Welcome back in a fun night of football and I know Binger's loving life out there in Southeast Polk. Let's get back out to him with our coach of the week. Welcome back guys. Friday night blitz, you know, week one, no big deal. Southeast Polk taking on Dowling and wow, I think we'll remember this one for a long time. Our coach of the week, Coach Zelenovich, will be following him all year and we won't make you do this every week. We'll, we'll, we'll pick on some of your staff or your players. You had a special one tonight, but there's really not much we can talk about just the way that thing ended. You've been a part of a lot of great games. Walk me through it. Yeah, I mean, we were we were touch and go uh, there in the second half offensively. You know, we, we couldn't get anything going. Credit to them. They came out, had a good plan, and had us on the ropes and, you know, played uh, like we had three sophomores on the offensive line at times. But then uh, put a drive together when we needed it. You know, made a couple plays, scrambled plays out. And, had a chance to had a chance to uh, try and get one to get in a field goal range, and then, you know, uh, missed on the second down, and then you know just took a shot and threw it to probably the best player the, the state seen in a while, if not ever. He was special tonight. And he was unique, and even the interception he had right before that. I mean, he's on all of our highlights, but you really have to credit. People don't realize how good Dowling is defensively. I mean, I know that you think you have a lot of weapons and all that, and they'll cut the season they'll get better. But how much can you say about what the Maroons put on the field here tonight? Oh, I mean, yeah, we knew. You know, we knew they were going to be good defensively. They had some guys back up front, some experience in the secondary with a couple guys, and had a good plan and got us on the ropes. And you know, we had trouble moving it there uh, in the second half. Uh, had some, you know, had some chances in the first half, missed the field goal. You know, got in plus territory. Had a couple big runs early and kind of uh, shot ourselves in the foot. We had a little bit of momentum, you know. And then uh, second half, they made some some good adjustments. And you know, we're just going to have to, you know, continue to coach those guys up front, get better, and see where we're at. But yeah, no, we we knew it was going to be a dog fight, and they're known for that. I mean, they're a physical football team, well coached, and you know, started uh, heating us up a little bit there and giving us some different looks, and and uh, you know stuff we got to get cleaned up. I really hate to kill the celebration to make, make you come out here. I know you got to go back, but you live for this, don't you? I mean, it doesn't matter whether you're going to win a state champion or whatever. Just to have these efforts and have a play like that and to have a Friday night like this, I yeah. mean, does it get any better? I mean, you, you go to a zone you can't go to in regular life. Yeah. No, there at the end with your kids. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, it's we talk to them all the time. It's about high experience, right? And you know, they'll they'll remember how they felt after that win. You know, first game, their senior year, junior year, sophomore year, whatever, against the second ranked team in the state, and you know, all sorts of attention and in hoopla and whatever. And you know, uh, we we're lucky enough to come on top, make a play at the end. And yeah, I mean, they'll remember that forever. Well, we're just getting started this year, week one, so maybe it'll be a long one. Coach Lenovitz joining us here on the Friday Night Blitz. Twenty-two years we've been at it. It's a good start to year twenty-two. Back to you guys in the studio.